look at these two boys they have a very different body structure while this boy is very thin and sickly and has a very less muscle mass in his body so much so that even his ribs are prominent the other young boy looks healthy and has muscle mass in his body so what extra did this boy have which gave him this muscle mass well he must have had a diet rich in proteins diet which consisted of chicken or egg or fish so these food they are high on the protein content which is important for the increase in the muscle mass now are proteins present only in non vegetarian food no proteins are also present in vegetarian food like the pulses the beans in the milk and in cottage cheese so proteins are present in vegetarian as well as non vegetarian food now this question might arise in your mind that if these lesser fortunate boys they did not have a proper proteinaceous diet consisting of fish chicken meat or pulses and beans and cottage cheese then how did how do they grow what provides the little amount of muscles that is present in their bodies well these boys most probably they survive on rice and a few vegetables now even rice and a few vegetables they have proteins in them but in a very small amount enough just enough to uh, provide them with the initial growth in their body so proteins are present in rice and vegetables but in a very limited amount so proteins help in the muscle formation and now you know that muscles help us with our movement so indirectly proteins are helping us with our movement because proteins make up muscles and muscles help us with our movement now look at these two boys they were playing on a playground this boy gets a proper diet consisting of all the essential nutrients and proteins specially he has a diet consisting of all the protein rich food like fish meat pulses or milk whereas this boy does not have a proper diet consisting of proteins so they were playing uh, on the playground one day when they both fell down fell down and bruised their skin so what was seen was after 7 days the bruise present in this boy was completely healed but this boy had still got his bruise so even after 7 days the bruise remained in this boy from here it is clear that the protein rich diet that this boy had caused the replenishment of the worn out tissues in his leg so since he had a protein rich diet his bruised skin uh, which contained all the worn out tissues were repaired and replenished and hence his wound was healed but this boy did not have a protein rich diet which helps in the replenishment of tissues and so his bruise still remained even after 7 days so proteins apart from helping in muscle formation and movement 
also helps in the replenishment of worn out tissues now proteins are also present in our blood so uh, proteins have another function that of transport so what do they transport proteins that are present in the blood transport molecules such as glucose when we eat glucose these glucose molecules get associated with the proteins that are present in the blood and since blood is the fluid connective tissue connecting our entire body the glucose gets transported along with the proteins that are present in the blood so uh, proteins help in the transport of molecules such as glucose so what are these proteins made of let us see well proteins are made up of individual units known as amino acids this is the structure of an amino acid see it has carbon atoms nitrogen atom hydrogen atoms oxygen atoms and a r group the r group is an organic compound and it differs in different amino acids so amino acids which are the building blocks of proteins are made of carbon nitrogen oxygen hydrogen and an r group so amino acids bond together to form proteins which in turn are the building blocks of the body so proteins apart from helping us with our muscle formation movement replenishment of worn out tissues also have an important function of transport it transports molecules such as glucose with the help of the fluid medium that is present in our body which is known as the blood 